What the? Dude, come on, I'm trying to start an intro here. What's going on, guys? It's the Pancake Renegade here, and, uh, yeah, we are in the duot. This dude's trying to chase us, so I'll hop in here real quick. I didn't realize that was inside of a little, uh, encampment still. But yeah, this dude's trying to chase us. I'll probably just do that real quick. Pull a number on him, you know? But yeah, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. Currently, uh, we're inside the duot. We have a few side quests. Uh, these are all from the DLC, so you know we're in Curse of Pharaohs. We have Shield or Blade. We have to complete or collect the ingredients for the ritual. Oh, we get an outfit for this. Ooh, interesting. None can cheat the weighing, or so Bayek believes, until the blind oracle Nina tells him of a corrupted soul trying to enter the duot. We have Kepri's amulet, which I believe is leading up to this. You know, collect the ingredients for the ritual, and the God's Spark. So, with this one being closer, we'll start with the God's Spark. Anubis's champion holds the key to stopping the corrupted soul from entering Tutankhamun's afterlife. The god Anubis breathes his spark into his champions, giving them the power to protect and defend the eternal fields. To complete the oracle's dark ritual, yeah, Bayek must take the god's essence from the strongest of his warriors, even if this defies the jackal himself. Okay, interesting. I wonder who the strongest warrior is going to be. Probably not. I love how the objective was like all the way over there. But like we actually huh? going on in it with Sinu. We get all the way over here. Alright, so it's up here in the temple. We haven't discovered that yet. I don't believe it. No. So we'll just run over a bunch of people, no biggie. Discover this temple. Warriors of Anubis. He breathed his divinity into them. Made them the guardians of life. The strongest among them. You must take his potent spark. Okay. So there's quite a few warriors. Oh, excuse me. There's quite a few warriors in here, you know. Lots of loot. We'll say that. Excuse me. It's also a temple, so quite a few involved places. Oh, is that actually the dude right there? No, that's not. That can't be him. Let's Bastard! You cannot get away! <laughs> Are we asking someone for forgiveness? The great guardian of the endless fields? Or something? I don't know. I didn't hear the whole thing. Let's take whatever that is. It's glowing, so it should be useful, but it might not be. It might just be better. Let's go and assassinate this guy. Activate this quest here for revenge this. Dude. I should investigate this. You should. Gustavo Mata 25. Those enemies are over there, so I'll deal with this fortress and go do that quest. <coughs> I don't know how I broke that pot, but I mean it's, it's cool. <gasps> I know how I broke that one. I kind of ran over it. Alright. So I believe you. Yeah, this is the last treasure. Okay. And then we'll sort of just run out of here. Alright. Excuse me. Funeral parlor. Oh, I didn't even look at the name. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. I didn't mean to crash someone's funeral. Or, I guess, the parlor of the funeral. Whatever. I didn't mean to crash that. No. 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 You don't, you don't see me. Alright. Cool. What's in here? I guess. Oh, wow. We already, we already killed this dude. So, we're cool. Got this guy. 
Other one's up there, so let me just hey, ignore no. me. Oh. Four for more. Any Yo, bro, how's it going? Oh, I didn't know that. Man, I forgot about the bomb. I, I think it deals damage over time. This dude looks like a sorcerer. Or whatever. He's like a healer or something. Die! Buddies. I have no clue, I'll be honest. We've already cleared this location. It shouldn't be too difficult. Let's see if we can grab this stuff. No. That's fun. Nope. There we go. Quest completed. A little bit of XP. Not not too much. Alright, quests. Where's this uh, Kepri's amulet quest gonna take us? If he and the Oracle are to attempt the forbidden spell, Bayek must find an amulet of protection from the Scarab God. Bayek must climb to the highest peak in the Duat for an amulet of protection against the dark ritual he and the Oracle are intent on performing. Will the Scarab God grant his blessing for the sacrilegious break? I don't know. Really? It's over there. Doesn't look that high. I mean, it's kind of... Okay. We'll head over here. We'll probably just walk there. See if we can't grab a few uh, Are you, I, question marks on our way, you know? Whoa. Sounds good to me, in all honesty. Treasure? Oh. No. Okay, funeral parlor store. We won't head inside, but we will grab that location. We have something over here. We'll probably just... Over there? Yeah, we'll, we'll just skim around the side here. Kepri watches over the duo at Ah, you got a bear. I'm not even worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I you can, you can shake. Oh. The dude's... there. So, Kepri, I'm not exactly going to you right now. But, know that I am coming. And I will win. Jump! Or, don't. You see, you're not Charlie. You wouldn't jump. See how it is? Yeah. It's because we don't have our trusty horse, Charlie. Our trusty Charlie horse. <laughs> Got a bit of enemies, but nothing, you know. Old bike can't handle this. <laughs> Ah, of course I planned that. Exactly what I planned. <laughs> My bad. You got that? What's this? We are grateful to the gods for filling our hills with, uh, with natron. It is this that allows us to preserve the liver and intestines, the stomach and lungs of the dead. Without natron, we could not preserve our bodies as a house or uh, as a house of our ba from which to fly to meet our uh, the afterlife. Blessed we are. Interesting. So I'm wondering how exactly they have dead people in the afterlife. You know, like it was a funeral parlor we just we just left earlier. How did they? I mean, sure. You you do you. Oh, we have two treasures. Oh, no, okay. can't forget the one in the cave. Cool. Sort of cutout area. Exactly, the whole cave. Okay. Okay, healing. Okay, not not too good. Not horrible. All right, we'll grab this last one and then we'll head up to the peaks. There's a few guards over there, so hopefully they won't mind me slaughtering them. Oh, sorry, passing by unnoticed. Either one works, really. The steep ascent to Hippie's shrine. Yeah. I could reach up to the heavens. The god himself. Sure. Nope. Your location discovered. Cavern. Doesn't... Cavern doesn't sound like it's getting you any closer to the top. But hey. Ooh, treasures there. Definitely wouldn't mind that. Ah, bro. Come on. I'm trying to be sharing things here. Bro. Sharing Come on. Nope. Got him. That dude's walking away. That dude's coming, so we might have to. I wonder if those red or those fireballs sort of 
affect our, like, the enemy's visibility of us. I really do wonder. Right, hopefully no one comes to the entrance to that other dude doesn't come up the staircase. But we are being sort of followed by a fireball. Soldier. We're best of pals. We call each other bro all the time. <clears throat> it's fine, and I forgot we can't fast travel, of course. Makes sense. <coughs> Man, that boat was so crazy overpowered. Like, I'll, I'll show you the stats. I don't, I don't remember what video I, uh, I got it in. <laughs> I know I got it on camera or something. But it was, uh, oh, I was doing the, um, the faceless one, um, on the normal map. He was, like, the guy in all of, like, a, uh, like, the outer area of Thebes, you know? He's been in the uh, land for a few days. But I got him, and he gave me this bow. It's called Elect of Ra. It has three to four precision, so not bad, especially for, you know, the type of bow it is with three different arrows, uh, and a wider sort of hit range. Has four out of four bleeding on hit, so that is a what? Legend bleeding, bleeding, bleeding on block. Hit. Oh, over here. Okay, it's not a legendary effect. It's a level four, you know, so it has attacks have a forty percent chance to inflict bleeding. Not bad at all. It also has an on fire effect, and you know it's multiple the arrows, general? which is ugh, that is so crazy, so so crazy. Uh, I'm trying to find the best way. Probably just climb up. Honestly, yeah, we'll, we'll start here. Why not? I don't really see a better option, you know. Not a staircase that says, "Here, I climb here to kill Electric or to kill Capri. Take his amulet." There seems to be so, uh, a sour, a sort of set path. I'll go this way. I'll, I'll follow it up. Yeah, instead of just climbing up the side. Why not? We'll, We'll play, we'll play the game. Oh, I thought there'd be something else besides the boat. My bad. There seem to be quite a few outcrops. Good, good thumbnails too, but I'm not really focused on that. Okay. Like these little stone markings. Cool. I love how we found a pelt in that little base. Oh, that's new. What? We haven't done that in like ever, if at all. That's cool. All right. Yeah. So here is like test. Oh, <laughs> bike, you're really going for it, eh? I thought you'd, you know, go for the obvious path, but I'm I'm all down. Now. I'm all down. Can I continue along. You got this? Good job. Nice. We got this. Who's the madman who came up here and put these little crates here? I gotta wonder. And these candles, too. I'll, I'll leave the book. They've deserved. They've deserved some respite. Oh, did I miss one? I did. seeing anything like this before. And those flowers, man. Those flowers are so cool. We can turn around. Wait, actually, what is this over here? I'm curious. Oh, it's... Okay. It's, like, it's not. Right? There's another one there. We'll head this way. Still seems the continued path for the preferred path. The path the game wants you to take. 
know, we are obliging. We do have an ability, though. We will go ahead and put that into Hunter. There we go. It wouldn't be all dramatic, so I'm not running. These scarabs were weighed against the feather of Ma'at during the final judgment. It will protect us from the profane rite we must perform. Okay. You say so. And where's Kefri? Kefri lives up here. No? There's a thing over there. Faithful is his watch. For in the home of night and darkness lives Kefri, the great soul of the universe. He whose emblem is the beetle, the god of resurrection. In the form of a scarab, he watches the coming of Ra, and he flies upon the boat and awaits there the time where he shall bring life back to the god. Well, we have our own, a, bone of, a bone of our herd, a bird of our own. Do not stand as a witness against me, Khebri. Return to me where the duat begins. Where the duat begins. Bring the ingredients to the oracle. Shield or blade? I wonder if we get to choose shield or blade. I want to go to the highest peak though, real quick. What is? What? Are, what are you? What? Is that Hefri? That can't be him. I'm actually like, mm, shiny thing. Swap weapons, but I suppose we'll give this one a shot. <laughs> we haven't used this weapon in a minute. Whoa. We swapped the other one, it was doing way better than I expected, so we kept it. Back. All right. Excuse moi. New location discovered. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Might actually just fast travel. Oh, these treasure here. Fast travel, ya boy. Take a sip of water, if you guys don't mind. Who's waiting near the entrance to the door? Hello. I have the things for the ritual. But. Is there no other way to destroy a man's car, is? Do you know how this one tricked Osiris? How they avoided the devourer, Amit? By using the heart of an innocent, a child. I do not have to tell you what that means, by. Then let us begin. The warriors of the Jackal will try to stop us. Do not let them. I invoke you, Lord of Silence. 
give us your Heka and your Nechaka. I invoke you, Devourer, Soul Sucker, Punisher, for we seek to banish an unclean soul from this realm. May your name die. May your body decay. You shall be turned back from heaven and earth. Your soul will never stand before Osiris. Thy soul destroyed. Thy body destroyed. Thy car destroyed. Am an ari her em red heset neter. Am an ari her em red heset neter. Am an ari her em red heset neter. Anubis is angry. Still they come. The jackal understands. His guardians will not oppose us much longer. Okay. May you enter the afterlife with your enemy. No, you will not corrupt the field of reeds as you have corrupted me. Abed, devourer, come! <laughs> <laughs> These demons, the souls you take, they will not deny you passage. Be at peace. Your heart is heavy no more. And with that, <laughs> and we got an outfit. What is this? Servant of Bamboo. Let's go ahead and put that on. Let's check that out. Servant of Amu, where is that? An outfit worthy of the priests who devote their lives to the Lord of Thieves. Well, I'll be honest, the mask looks a little silly. We can, uh... We can change that. It looks pretty sick. I will say. I don't remember who Septimius is. I will be entirely honest with you. Thank you, living one. You have stopped a great injustice. Anubis will welcome you when your time comes. May you live forever beneath the imperishable stars. All right. Cool. <clears throat> well, with that, I guess we'll just continue the episode, huh? We do have a lot of a lot to do in this area. But we do. It's not much, but I'll take it. You know. Alright, so that was pretty cool. I'll be honest, there was a little confusion what was happening there. Were, was Septimius... Like, I thought there was going to be a whole boss fight. But Septimius just, like, came in. by was like, no, you will not conquer these souls until you've conquered me. Alright, we aren't doing that. We're saving that. Uh... You aren't conquering these souls as you conquered me. Or corrupt. You aren't going to corrupt these souls as you've corrupted me. That's your word. You say corrupted. Um. Yeah, I don't wonder, I wonder what that means. Like, just Septimius was part of the whole order, right? But yeah, I just went back to the other weapon just because it gives us the ability to attack way more. Like, with this weapon right here, we get chain throw. But that's just one extra enemy. With the other one, we can, sure it takes a bit longer, but we attack way more enemies in that little, uh, we attack way more enemies in our rage state. Canyon treasure. Mark that. So yeah, I just, I feel like it's more useful. Some objects can be moved. Okay, so. Oh, that's not what I want. Oh, it's this. Oh. Uh, come on. Fine. Whatever. I can't. I can't. I can't move that. Tell me I can't slip an arm through there. No. That's fine. We got another one over here, so I'll just head to the back side. Come in this way. That's cool. I like how they have one area with two different locations. Oh. 
I might be too entirely then. Whoops. Oh wait, yeah. Yeah, it's just down here. Okay, cool. Uh, you're not gonna Do I have to move both of them for you to move? Are you not? There we go. I'm trying to move you to the right. I don't, I don't know why you didn't. Shield, we won't be using that, but you know, it's a shield. It should be offered. <clears throat> I suppose we'll head down now. Seems over that way. What's in here? Nothing, because it's not even a door. plugged in but my computer charger is like it's it's like across the room and I gotta finagle it. Actually you not know yeah I don't wanna risk that. I don't wanna hold I don't wanna lose all this footage. So give me one second. Dang. Alright, sorry about that. I've got a question mark over here. I suppose we'll see what that is. I'm really liking this outfit, like these. Uh, this attire is cool. Whoa. Oh. Oh. So we can't go in there. Is that no, that's not an entrance. Yeah, it's not an entrance. Oh, that looks like an entrance. Let's go down. Now there's three. Where, where's the actual entrance? Oh! That's, uh. Oh. It's right here. Okay, I get it. I see what it is. Yeah, that'd be really bad for any shields you had, like, paint on or anything. Just going through crevices and. on the back of it. <laughs> Not very good. Just put it simply. Seems like a larger space for literally just treasure. I feel like we're supposed to be attacked. <laughs> Dang, bag! I see you with those moves. <laughs> Let's go 
torch. Took you a second. But you got it. Alright. There we go. Yeah, those crevices are kind of finicky. I can't jump on the glowing plant. It's a bit of a shame. But it's kind of to be expected. Oh, what's this? That sounds ominous. The lotus flower. Before man and beast existed, before rivers and before rivers, hills and desert, before seasons and day and night, sun, moon and stars, before anything, there was only muddy silt. From this, a tiny lotus flower blossomed, and in the delicate cup-shaped chalice of that flower, the Creator was born. All came after. For this, we revered the lotus. It is the flower of sun, of creation, or rebirth, and the source of life. Interesting. There is no third treasure. It is the knowledge and the love that can be. Getting all hippy dippy. Oh, it's up there. Okay. Probably easier to go another path, but it seems the most straightforward, so we'll take it. Let's go to the right. so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. As always, leave a like in the video if uh, you did enjoy. You know, share with your buddies if you think they would as well. <laughs> Who knows? They could actually, you could actually help them find a new hobby. You know, watching gaming videos made by someone else. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all again so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Okay.